Hello everybody, it's Evaltable 4 for the weekly update. A uh, few things today. First of all, videos this week should be normal. I have all of the Final Fantasy VII record for this week. Um, I should be able to get... I have one episode of um, Trails in the Sky, and I should be able to have just a regular time recording that. Uh, do I have... yeah, I have... Of a therapy appointment later this week, but that shouldn't interrupt anything. Uh, streams this week are... I'll try to do Animal Crossing again on Tuesday, maybe. Um, Wednesday, I might do a Terraria stream with my brother, because Terraria 1.4 Journey's End came out, like the, the last big update for Terraria. Uh, that game's been out for a while. Um, but yeah, they made a huge update to the game, and I want to play it more. I've been playing it already, but I want to play it more. Uh, so I might do that with my brother. Um, last week we had a, uh, another Animal Crossing stream that's up on the channel here. In, uh, I, I split, I'm splitting up the Animal Crossing streams by, um, Island Visit, just to make it easier to navigate around for people. Um, so that's good. Uh, I didn't stream on Wednesday because I needed to get a whole load of work done, and I got all the work done, so I'm happy. Um, but yeah, that's, that's about it for what happened. Um, Final Fantasy VII is ramping up in the, uh, this week's episodes. This week's episodes, um, we get up to Eris, and she's amazing. It's going to be great. You guys are going to love it. Um, but yeah. So, other things that happened this past week. Uh, so, I got my room finished. Uh, yeah, I just I said like last time I just had the uh, drawings and MAGFest posters and stuff like that to put up. So, I got that all put up and my room is, is done. Everything's unpacked that I want to unpack. Um, I like... I like this setup now. Um, I have a lot more open space, like on the side over here. Uh, this used to be three rows of books. Uh, now it's just like a few books that I have over there. I have all the figures here that used to populate all the shelves here, like in a few spots. There are books down there still, but um, that's just this is like my easy access shelf now, which used to be my bed. So yeah. Also, um, with sushi over here, my alpaca that's been in the videos and stuff, um, I decided to look up how to clean him because I've had him for like six years and I never actually cleaned him. So I ran him through the wash and it's not really showing up well on the camera, but he is a bright blue now as opposed to a gray. So um, yeah, there's quite a difference. I really wish my camera had better color detection, but... Um, you know, once you get into bright things, as we've seen all the other times that I've tried to do anything on the with this camera, its its color scale is really weird. Um, I don't think I can fiddle with that while it's recording. Um, but yeah, but he's he's nice and bright now, so yay. Um, let's see. Uh, in other news, things are going on, uh, I've been watching The Clone Wars with my brother, uh, the show, it's good stuff. Um, I got a whole lot of art done this week, like, a lot. Uh, it'd be easier just to go to the moment. So I put my art in moments on, uh, on uh, Twitter just to to make it easier for me to find um, so if you guys want to find my stuff if you think you've missed anything over the course of the week or whatever I, I put from both my account and my Doveroth art account so all the stuff is there um, so let's say this past week so I, I guess it is a lot easier just to go through this as long as I remember to um, to put the the art uh, I tried drawing Zero Suit Samus again. I don't really like how she comes out when I try to draw her. One second. 
I don't really like how she comes out when I try to draw her. Um, obviously, like a front view is is just tougher to do in general, but the way that her hair and her eyes are is just um, something I, I, I have a lot of trouble with, so I need to do a lot more practice. Um, I did boy, my sketchbook here. Uh, I worked on the last Patreon piece of the month, uh, which is Minfilia uh, from Final Fantasy XIV. So, because, um, you know, my TV's over there, so if I'm watching anything with my brother, I have to face that way, so I can't, like, do digital art. So I just, uh, sometimes I'm able to sketch things and sometimes not. Um, this picture I ended up having to, to do a little bit of work with because the proportions are off because of the page size. It's like I had to get the chin in a little bit and the head was a bit higher up and everything out. But I like I like how this I like how this came out on the paper anyway. Um I I'm out of practice. I know I know it's 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 a, a good drawing, but I'm I'm very out of practice with pencil because I'm so used to doing um I'm so used to doing uh digital art these days. But um so the, the finished product, which I got to a couple days after that, was, uh, was this, which, as you can see, is a lot better than the drawing. So just go, just go, go down to the bottom here where it doesn't have the, uh, the, the window reflecting off. But yeah, I really like how this came out. It looks a lot better. It's like, it looks a lot better on, uh, on the computer when it's I guess that's a little better actually it's more more the color scheme she has very interesting clothing options <laughs> very interesting um, but uh, yeah so that's I did Minfilia there um, Proton John was playing Star Fox at zero so I drew Bagel the cat as a like a character from the game. It's a kind of like a mixture of, of Cat and Star Wolf, but Bagel. So I really like that. And a few other people picked up on the idea and, and ran with it. Um, it's kind of hard to give context to this. Uh, this is The caption here is a typical morning in the George household for uh, Stephen George and Mel. Uh, just waking up in the morning, the first thing that they do, yelling, I love mac and cheese! And if you don't watch Breakfast Dream, you won't get the context for that, but they thought it was funny, and that's good. Um, and the last thing that I did uh, this week was do more art of uh, Clara, uh, my character Clara. So she, uh, I'm trying to make this piece, she's looking in a mirror, um, but I've never actually drawn her back before. She doesn't, like, the way that her story goes is that she doesn't really enjoy wearing, like, short stuff. She, she just... In this one, she had just exercised in the the story that um, the story that I'm crafting here, which is why she's wearing a short shorter shirt and athletic shorts. Um, but she doesn't really usually like wearing anything that's not either longer or baggy, um, just because of all the scars that she has. Um, this, you know, she she doesn't regret the scars because uh, they were, you know, from fighting or whatever. It's, you know, gotten while she had been helping people, you know, while doing good. So the scars aren't something that, you know, she regrets, but it's still hard to look at sometimes, either for the memories of how they happened or just the reminder of the, the fragility of the human body. Um, and, uh, permanent damage, you know, it's sometimes hard to, uh, to look at, uh, look at the scars you have because it reminds you just, oh, that's not going away. That's something that's going to be bothering me for the rest of my life, isn't it? And, uh, sometimes the scars are big, sometimes the scars are small, but, uh, yeah. So she, but she, she deals with it. You know, again, she remembers that the scars had a purpose. You know, they were they weren't they weren't useless. They were they were received for uh, in in service of something greater. But yes, yeah, so that's the art I did this week, and uh, I'm really happy about that. 
Um, and it's, it's, I finished Patreon before halfway through the month. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, I'm actually going to do, like, my own projects now. I'm working on emotes for Juker. I did one already. I'm going to hopefully finish the other one today. Um, excuse me. So that's cool. Now, uh, let's see. And what else is going on this week? I feel like something else is going on this week. <laughs> Last week on Twitter, I, uh, I, I made a thing saying like, hey, you know, I don't usually um, advertise my Discord, but if anyone wants to join, you know, feel free. And um, I got about as many people as I expected to, to join in by saying that. But that's okay. I don't I don't enjoy promoting my Discord like that. Um, you know, I'm not going to speak on how other people view it because that's rude. But personally, um, I I like things to be more organic. I don't. Aside from my art, which I know I drive everyone crazy by retweeting it like three or four times over the course of a week, because Twitter buries things. Um, and I know every time I retweet, I'm like, this is going to bother people, and I'm sorry. But <laughs> um, that's that's my exception. That's my personal exception, because I work hard on that. Uh, but for stuff like YouTube or, or the Discord, um, I don't enjoy p pushing it because I feel like that either makes people feel pressured to come or they feel pressured to not uh, join. It's like, oh, it's going to be one of these discords. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's just kind of how I like it to be. I like it to be chill. If people want to join up on their own volition, that's awesome. You know, because that's just how I like these things too. You know, I don't, I don't like... Uh, I don't like being, feel like I'm being forced. Um, and I feel a lot more comfortable that way in, you know, when I interact with people, if it's, if I don't feel like I'm being forced to, <laughs> to do something or, uh, guilted. But, um, again, that's me. I can't say how, like, <laughs> obviously I'm not like a big popular person and that's one of the reasons why it's because I don't push. Um, the other reasons are, you know, personality-wise, but, like, you know, you have a lot of people that probably shouldn't be popular that are because they push on, you know, but I don't like doing that. Um, I don't really promote it in streams or videos or anything, but, you know, that's cool. It's, it's not, uh, it's not a, a competition for me that I, that I need to get all that stuff, except for the art. I got uh, I got paid by uh, Redbubble recently for the last thirty days. Like they pay out on the fifteenth for the past you know thirty days. Um, this past thirty days was quite something. Um, the final the the Persona Five art was uh... <laughs> somebody somebody actually uh, you know it it tells me what people buy. It doesn't tell me who buys it. it just says like oh somebody from this region uh, bought it because you know I've I've uh, I've had dollars, uh, euros, pounds, Canadian dollars, and Australian dollars. Like have you know it, it's saying like what the the thing is. Um, so somebody bought a a framed picture of Makoto uh, Nijima um, from from my Redbubble store, and that cost them a hundred bucks. So I'm like, wow, all right. A couple of people got throw pillows of Akechi and Kazumi. Two different people. Actually, two people got throw pillows of Kazumi. Um, most people buy stickers and surprisingly t-shirts. I didn't think the t-shirts would go with the designs that I made, but yeah. And two people have bought masks so far, uh, like, you know, like that, um, of uh, Futaba. They both fought, bought Futaba masks. You know of the of the art that I did for the poster, so okay. Um, but yeah, it's been really interesting to see what the algorithm is hitting, 
and um, apparently on YouTube, my Crisis Core and like anything Final Fantasy VII because of the remake is is getting hits now. It's like Crisis Core is doing a whole load better, which I'm so happy about because that, in my <laughs> egotistical opinion, uh, wasn't very underrated. Let's play of mine. Uh, nobody watched it. Um, but I put a lot of work into it, and I had a ton of fun with it. Uh, so it's nice to see. Uh, it, that's just how it works with all my stuff. Like, it, people don't get to it till like four years later, which again, like, I'm okay with not forcing it. Like, I, I'm not the type of guy that quits a project halfway because I'm only getting three views a video. Um, that would be petty of myself. I'm not going to judge other people because they have different lives and different circumstances. But, um, you know, I... Apparently, my style is playing the long game on YouTube. It's how it worked with every single project. It's very interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, people are watching Crisis Core. Uh, that, like, One-Winged Angel, but it speeds up every time they say Sephiroth. Uh, video that I did has been pleasing the algorithm. I don't know if it was posted somewhere or something, but like uh, I keep getting comments like people saying like, oh wow, this showed up in my feed because <sighs> they're looking for Final Fancy stuff and it, it hit whatever note on the algorithm. So um, I find that very funny. Um, and th obviously the Limit Break videos have been consistently good over the past few years. They have been my best performing videos uh, in terms of consistency since I uploaded them in like 2013. So um, that's kind of awesome. You know, they don't get like a ton of videos, a ton of views, but they get a consistent amount of views every day. But yeah, this is me talking about metrics. Hooray. Cool stuff, Dovi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just find I, I find this fascinating. Like, okay, like what what did I do to please the algorithm today? And the and the answer always is, you never know how you please the algorithm. But um, playing the long game by doing Final Fantasy VII stuff and just waiting for that remake to come out, apparently. Um, but yeah, so like you know, some people are watching the the new the the remake Let's Play. But I'm sure in like five or six years, if YouTube still exists and the world hasn't blown up. Uh, that's when people will discover it. <laughs> um, like right now, it's it's overdone, so it's it's oversaturated the market. But uh, people are going to Crisis Core, which is the important thing because that game needs to be re-released. Anyway, uh, make it part of make it make it a part of the uh, the Final Fantasy uh, remake anthology. I would love it. Uh, but yeah, so let's see, let's see, anything else interesting happen this week? I'm really happy how the the Minfilia uh, piece came out, by the way. I put a lot of time into that. Uh, I was using a new, um, a new brush. I saw on Twitter someone, someone, uh, Clip Studio, uh, advertising a new brush, uh, that someone, or a advertising, a, like, a, like retweeted somebody that was like, hey, this is the brush I use and it's really cool. I'm like, cool, how we will do the entire piece with this, just like you recommended with your stuff. And it worked out really nicely with the style there. It has like a more pastel-y, I don't know, it's less painted looking and more like, like pastel paints as opposed to paintbrush paints because it was a, a coloring brush. Uh, it's weird. Uh, it's less brushy texture. It's kind of hard to explain that, but um, let's see. Yeah. Anything else actually happened this week? The playing Risk of Rain two with my brother also. He he took uh, two APs this week, and I think he's done with classes now. He he's not graduating till June, but I think he doesn't have any more classes to go to. So yay, he's he's finishing high school. It's scary. Uh oh my gosh! Right, Paper Mario: The Origami King was stealth announced, uh, and I am very cautiously hyped. I'm not cautiously optimistic. I'm cautiously hyped because I'm hyped because it's a Paper Mario game. It seems to have battle system. 
that we have seen a grand total of like 12 seconds of. It looks good, but it's in the same style as the past two Mario Paper Mario games. And um, yeah, I'm hoping that we get more information on it. It's coming out in two months. Um, a lot of people are like, wow, they're waiting until two months before to announce it. Like, why didn't they talk about it earlier? But I feel like, A, they might have wanted to. They they're, they might have planned on it, but uh, two things. One, they probably didn't know if it would actually be ready by July because coronavirus is keeping a lot of people from... Like, a lot of games are getting delayed. So, like, it would be really bad if they announced a Paper Mario game because of the, the dubious honor that the or the dubious reputation that the uh, the series has it would be really bad if they announced a paper mario game and then almost immediately delayed it people were like oh my gosh it's terrible you know they're just using the virus as an excuse uh b yes yeah, so they might not have known if it would actually be ready so they probably only announced it once they knew it would actually be ready also it wasn't we haven't had like any good directs because of the virus as well so like when would they have announced it it's, you know, so like those two factors together, I think, um, or it could entirely be that, that they're, that they're uh, not proud of the game and it's going to be garbage, but I prefer to give them the benefit of the doubt, even on Paper Mario. Uh, Color Splash shows that they're improving, that they, they're, they're kind of thinking about what's going on. So, you know, I'm, I'm cautiously hyped. I'm not optimistic. <laughs> Um, but it looks interesting, and I like the origami style. Um, let's see. And Mario has long, long arms, which is great. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Chuck Conroy started a Mr. Dungeon DX Let's Play, which is really cool. Super Baby Mario got engaged. I'm so happy, dude. Congratulations. YouTube started messing with the video uploader, and I'm upset. Caused one of my videos to go live early because I clicked the option that's normally private. They switched the public and private option in the uploader. For no reason. So, you know, all the people that are used to just clicking private now click public and didn't notice until it was too late. That was good. Uh, I found uh, one of the, apparently there are two, one of the Scorpion Islands in Animal Crossing. That was fun. Mm. And that's, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Yep, that's about it. I got a uh, shiny Carvana in Pokemon Go this morning, so that's cool. Um, one second. I just want to send a thing to somebody before I forget. Um, that's great, Chiaki. I'm looking at Twitter while I'm recording my update video. Um, so, this week, it's going to be pretty normal. Uh, the end of next week is a Jewish holiday, so it might impact videos and streams, but I should have everything recorded at the very least, way in advance. Um, but we'll see about streams. Uh, I think... 38th... One second... 3, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Yeah, 39, 40, 1, 2, 3... So it's going to be Friday, Saturday, I think is the holiday. So it shouldn't impact anything, but just in case, this is your heads up. Um, but yeah. It's been a weird time. Uh, I've, been, I've been super productive in my own pursuits lately. I feel like it's been at the cost of me actually interacting with people, uh, which is why I'm... I, I like doing the Animal Crossing streams because um, that's more interactive. So I feel like if people, if 
people crave the interaction with Dovi, they can at least try to join that. Um, even if, like, not everybody can do the time, and I understand that. Um, I also did some recordings with the Much Games crew uh, for Majora's Mask. They finished up the game, so that's cool. Um, but uh, the connection to the server was lost, you jerk. I'll do that in my own time. Um, but the... Um, yeah, so I, I, I just... I've been slightly absent from the internet. Um, but... I mean, there's there's a few things with that. One is, like, my brother now is home, you know, either from school or, or at, you know, whatever. So, like, time to spend with him. You know, either watching stuff or, or playing games. Um, but also, like... Final Fantasy 7 takes a decent amount of work, and I'm doing Trails in the Sky, and I'm trying to do more art. So, like, all those things take a lot of time, and it makes me less around. Um, so am I happy with that? No, but it's not a balanced thing. I'm not a, not a good balanced person. Um, but I'm not ignoring you on purpose. Uh, but yeah. So... Um, but people have been having a hard time and it makes me feel bad when I'm like, Hey, this was a good week. And people around me are like, this is the worst time of my life. And I'm like, Oh gosh, I don't, I don't belittle people's pain with this. Um, I can't call this the worst time of my life because I went through that. Um, I have I have a different perspective. I'm not going to say that other people's perspectives are wrong because it is entirely their own. Uh, but my personal life experience is that this is very far from the worst time of my life. Unfortunately, it sucks seeing other people going through the worst time in their lives with this. Um, I feel very powerless with that. But um, again, as always, here's hoping that sooner rather than later we uh get through this and uh as always uh, as well i believe in you thank you very much for watching it's been several before with the weekly update goodbye everybody bye bye